Welcome. Today, we're going to be defining perpendicular lines. So let's start by its definition. Perpendicular lines are two lines whose intersection form a 90 degree angle. Which is also known as a right angle. Now let's think about the characteristics that these lines should have. Now, if we draw a completely vertical line, and then we follow with a completely horizontal line, then we are guaranteed to have 90 degrees at the intersection. But what if we draw a diagonal line? How will the perpendicular line of a diagonal line would look like? Well, let me identify two points on this diagonal line. Negative 3, comma, negative 2, and 3, comma, 5. Now let's identify the direction of this line. Let's look at its vertical distance. If we start at negative 2 and go to 5, we travel 7 units. And if we start at negative 3, and then we finish up at 3, then we travel total of 6 units to the right. So now that we have identified its direction, let's choose another point on this line. I want to choose this point. 0, 2. And we're going to do two things. I'm going to be changing the direction of the line. And then I'm going to be swapping the horizontal with the vertical distance. So let's perform these two characteristics. If I had a horizontal distance of 6, now I'm going to have a vertical distance of 6. But instead of going up, I'm going to go down. So let's, from this point, let's move 6 units down. And now, I had a vertical distance of 7 by swapping it. Now I'm going to have a horizontal distance of 7. So let's move 7 units to the right. And now I have to find a new point, 7, negative 4. Now, if I connect those two points at their intersection, I am guaranteed to have 90 degrees. So if we call this line, line 1, and we call this line, line 2, notice that performing these two characteristics, we have done something to the slopes of the line. Let's look at the slopes. The slope of line 1, it was 7 over 6. And the slope of line 2, notice that we move vertically down, so that's negative 6 over 7. So we can define perpendicular lines as lines who have a negative reciprocal slope. Because that was by design. Because notice that in line 1, what was on the denominator, if I flip it to the top, I end up with my numerator of 6, which is the vertical distance of the other line. And 7, if I bring it down, I end up with the denominator, which is the horizontal distance of the second slope. And we need to place a little negative in front of the second line, because we want to change direction. Because those were the two characteristics that we wanted to give to our perpendicular lines. We wanted to change the direction of the line, and then we wanted to switch the horizontal and the vertical distance. And by doing so, we can just say that perpendicular lines are lines that have a negative reciprocal slope. Welcome. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.